Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.StampinUp.net and welcome to my craft room. I'm excited to make a fun Christmas card with you. I'm going to start to get into doing some Christmas cards as we're coming into this, of course, fall season. We've done a lot of fall cards and remember my card class with the cottage wreath and the note cards and envelopes, you actually get enough material to put together 20 cards. I'm going to show you in just a second. My box is full. And this class ends on the 29th of this month. And here are the cards. There are 10 different designs. They are absolutely wonderful. And you're going to love making this wonderful little box with all these fun cards. And like I said, two of each. The, there's also um, a place where you can just check out with the video PDF and it's already done and completed. Look at how pretty with that twine there. Okay, and um, so you can you can also, I also have the insides of everyone completed for you. Um, and this class is just $40. And you can go ahead and register today because it ends at the end of this week. Look at the look at this box. So the box holds 10. I have to show this to you. I just love this. I had so much fun. So the, all of those cards are in here. So um, isn't that wonderful? Wouldn't that make a great gift? But two, it's a great box so that when you um, finish, you know, when you get your cards out, you can go ahead and refill them because you've got double. So there's that. Note cards and envelope class with the cottage wreath. I am, I know you're going to love it if you love my classes. The video is actually a, a little over four hours long. I craft every single card with you. I cut everything with you. It's like you're right here in the craft room with me. So if you'd like to sign up for that class, um, go ahead and click the link below. There's a little more button. Click that. A whole box will drop down with a bunch of things that I do. And... Um, uh, to register for the class, there'll be a link there for you to just uh, click on. Now, until the end of September, here is my host code. And until the end, <clears throat> end of the month, with a $50 order, I will send you a package of the gold holly leaves. The gold holly leaves in the um, mini catalog. Let me show you that real quick here. I've been working on my next card class. You're going to love it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Right here, these gold holly leaves. I had so much fun with these last year. And um, so I'm actually out of them. I've used every single one of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, let me show you what I've used. I've used the gold and rose 6x6 six six metallic specialty paper. I've used the spruced up bundle. I did a class on this, so if you are um, uh, one of my people that took a class from me, here's another card for you guys to make with your bundle. So the spruced up, that was my Christmas in July, and I'm also using the Sweetest Christmas DSP. All right, now, you see four trees here, but we're only going to use two dies. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and bring in, because we're on photopolymer, let me bring in my mat here. And let me get my envelope here. And I'm going to open Real Red Garden Green and Crush Curry. Absolutely fantastic, very traditional colors for the fall. Can you believe I have my Stampin' Up! jacket on? It's cold. Little fall out there this morning, huh? A little nippy. You can definitely feel it. Okay, so I'm going to come up the side here with my little presents. These little presents are so cute. It's in the stamp set. I'm using everything from the stamp set and the dies. All the um, sentiment. Here's our little present. It has a die. These two trees right here. But I'm just using the dies for that. So I'm going to show you too how to um, save a little bit of paper too. Especially when it's this metallic, right? So I'm going to put my present on an angle in real red. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to go into my garden green. And I'm going to come up just a little bit. And I'm going to clean it. And then back into my real red. And I think on this one I could get one more garden green on here. And I'll do that. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to get my little star into my crushed curry. And I'm just going to place my star 
in between my presents right there. Isn't that cute? Just to make a really sweet little envelope with a couple of stamps, right? Let's do the back. So let me clean my stamp here. And I'll go into my garden green. I always have my chamois right next to me over here. And I'll put this in the middle. <coughs> my real red right here. And let's add our little crushed curry star. And there's our envelope, which is so stinking cute, just with your stamps and a little bit of ink, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and bring in the inside of the card, which is basic white, four and three quarter by three and a half. Uh, there should be measurements at the beginning of this video. Sometimes, though, they roll through so quick that um, I do post the measurements below the video also where it says more. Now, I want to put a little present right here in red. And this time I want to just use two stars. Just like that. Okay. Now, I want to start up here. I'm going to bring in a little bit of this grid paper. There's also a supply list below. Like I said, if you order from me till the end of the month, you might want to put this grid paper on here. So I'm going to just kind of line this up on a line. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I'm square. Let's bring it down here. Okay. On the dark line. All right. Let's do that. So another way to use this grid paper. I'm going to go ahead and tape this down with a little washi tape. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead and start my sentiment. Um, whatever brings you happiness, dot, 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 in garden green. Okay, so we're going to put that at the top. Make sure I have enough ink. Down and straight up, that's beautiful. Now I want to put, may it be yours this holiday season, right underneath it in crushed curry. Now I'm going to use my grid, okay? Let's hope this, this worked out just fine when I did it before. Okay, so I'm looking at my grid. I'm also looking at my, sorry if I touch the camera. I'm also looking at my you happiness, okay? So you want to get a little close to it, but you want to line up on that grid. Let's see how I did. Oh yeah, that came out nice. See, I lined my lower one. I'm looking at my grid, and it just, it really came out good to put both of those on there in different colors, right? Okay, that didn't take a second. So something a little bit more that you can do with our grid paper. And, um, of course, there's grid paper on, um, you know, the large sheets, too. Uh, sometimes I like to just use the small ones when I'm, you know, working in the small of an area. My base is garden green, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Let's go ahead and put this on the inside of the card. So right now we have the envelope and the inside of the card completed. So right here. And I like to use on the inside the four and three quarter by three and a half measurement just to give me a little bit more color around the inside of my card. Okay. All right. Now let's work on the outside. I've already cut my vellum. It's just with the largest circle, um, layering circle dies. Again, this is in, if you don't have circle dies, you should. Um, this is in the supply list. Now, on the, um, the paper, okay, so here is this absolutely gorgeous brushed metallic. You're going to want this for Christmas, okay? Um, I believe uh, in October, this is part of my giveaway. I'm giving this away um, with $50 order in October. Uh, because you're going to really, really want this paper. Look at that shimmer. Isn't that amazing? Um, for the holidays. So this piece is five and a quarter by four. I hate, though, leaving all of this in the inside. A lot of times with DSP, it doesn't matter to me. I do it. But for something like this, my gosh, it's gorgeous. We're going to cut that in just a second. Our um, sweetest Christmas DSP, and I chose this uh, solid green with the little dots on it, is a five by three and three quarter. Or, I'm sorry, is a four and three quarter by three and a half. Four and three quarter by three and a half. I went down um, another size because I wanted more of my gold to show. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we don't want to attach that yet. We're going to have to use some seal, too, on that. And we're going to do, um, let's go ahead and cut our trees. For, uh, and we'll bring in the stamp cut and emboss machine right here. Okay. 
Let me get some plates. Oh, I can't wait to get my new plates. They are coming. Thursday, it said that they should be here. Okay, so this is the piece of the brushed uh, metallic with the rose gold and metallic, okay? And let me get right here in camera. I'm a little close. I moved my camera. I'm so sorry. I seem to be just very, very close today. I'll have to reset it. Okay, so what I know I want to do is put these two guys right there, okay? Because out of two dies, you're going to get four cuts, okay? So I already know that this is going to be just fine because, look, when I put this here, okay, you don't see any holes, all right? So let's go ahead and cut this. Now, you can do this with all kinds of your cardstock. You know, you, you can always... Wait, I'm missing a plate. I always forget when I emboss. I was um, working on my card class and I always, I was embossing and I forgot to add, put that back on there. Okay, there we go. Now we have everybody. Now the sandwich is correct, right? Okay, so there we go. We're going to roll through and I'm going to make sure before I take it out of here that it cut. Because if I have to stick it back in, sometimes when it's thick like that, you know, you have to run it through a couple of times. Ooh, look at how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? And look, okay, however that you cut this paper when you cut this, or you could do your trees this way. These, this came um, up and down. It doesn't matter to me. I think it's just beautiful. Um, side to side, up and down. I think it's just gorgeous the way that these, uh, this paper is. I love that it's got such texture to it. Look at that. Okay, so that's two right there. I just want to take these apart just while I have the machine here, just in case I need it again, that's all. And you know if I take it apart right here that I'm not going to need it because that's Murphy's Law, right? Okay. There we go. All right, beautiful. Okay, now, this is not scrap, okay? Don't confuse that with scrap. All right, here we go. Let's move this out of the way and let's go ahead and do a little embossing now. Now we have our trees cut, right? So let's go ahead and do just a little bit of embossing. I'm going to use some Versamark here. First I'm going to use my little embossing buddy. If you don't have this, a little cornstarch or baby powder in a little baby sock is good. And what this does is just take the static electricity off of that piece of paper and the oils from your finger so that when you stamp, you don't have a bunch of um, little pieces all over the place, okay? So I've got Merry Christmas, and again, it's right there and that spruced up. Look how pretty this is, too. The Christmas, I love that, the font on that, right? So Mary here, and then Christmas out from it. And you can't see Versamark, it's like invisible ink, but it's very, very sticky. So you have time to work with it, it stays wet, it stays moist for a little bit. And let me go ahead and get out my gold embossing powder. My little ice cream. These are ice cream spoons and these little containers I got at Walmart. They are crayon containers. And now I'm just going to pour my... Haha, <laughs> look how fun that is, right? It looked like nothing. And you see, I put some things away and, um, you know, got things out and my ink was still wet. I'm going to tap that off nicely, right here. That looks really, really nice. Okay, let's put this away so that we don't blow embossing powder all over the craft room. And how do we know that? Because we've done that before, right? Who of us have not done that? I don't know. If you haven't, you're good. Now, let this heat up just a little bit. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and melt this into gold. And it's going to get look like shiny, 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 just beautiful. 
um, embossing here. And it's just going to melt that. There we go. Here we go. You see it? See it just melting there? Wonderful. So we have Christmas completed. Let's do Mary. I always don't know if you guys are really seeing it on camera or not. I have to watch it. Because you don't want to overheat it. You know, you could always overheat something and then you get a blob. Okay, everything looks shiny to me. Run over one more time. We're good. Alright, now, now I have, um, uh, you can bring your trimmer in or, you know, just cut it with scissors if you're good like that. I'm not good like that. So I'm just going to cut this in half. That's why I space them where I space them, okay? So I'm just going to cut this in half and I've got this teeny tiny trimmer that we got a long, long time ago. But you can cut this any way you want. You could cut it with your scissors. I want it really close to the Mary, top and bottom, so you just want to cut straight across. I am not good at cutting straight across, and if you follow me, you know this. So let me get my good snips, not my old scissors, whoops. And so here now, I just want to cut this on an angle close to my Y, and then down by, by, by the M, okay? Just like that. Cute. Let's do Christmas the same way. <clears throat> they had a, like if you join my team, then you got this trimmer in your, uh, you know, in your uh, starter kit. And that, <clears throat> but as demonstrators, we're always allowed to purchase the product. So, of course, I purchased it because okay. there was no really other way at that time for me to get it other than purchasing it. And there is Christmas right like that. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let me get my scraps out of the way. And now let's go ahead and start to assemble. So we did a little bit of, um, a, little bit of a lot of things here, right? We have our card base. We have our Merry Christmas. I want this right here. I want this on here. Okay, we're going to use seal because I'm going on to this kind of a, um, I'm sorry, I was out of camera. Okay, so we have this right here. And that looks fantastic with the garden green around it. But I, what I was saying was um, when you glue, you know I'm a liquid glue person, but not for this. This, I want some seal because of the paper that we are attaching to, to that metallic, okay? Even if I was using a, a flat gold, I would still use seal when attaching to that type of um, surface, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and place this on here first, right here, just like that. Let's go ahead and put dimensionals right here. And I'm going to put some extras right there because we did cut it out. But this is fine and dandy just like that, okay? I would have put five on it so it has one extra just because we cut it. I'll put those here. Let me bring that in right there. And let's bring this in right here. This is just pretty in itself, isn't it? Look at that green. I love green and gold at Christmas. I'm very traditional with my colors um, at Christmas. I love cherry cobbler and garden green together. I got it a little crooked, as you can tell. There we go. Okay, now that's better. Good. Okay, now... Um, I want to put my Merry Christmas on first because then I'll position everything else, okay? So we want our Christmas at the bottom. We'll put two dimensionals here. Just like that. So Christmas here. And then we'll do Merry and we'll um, center Merry, okay? Let's just put one on there. If you notice with this little size here, um, 
I've got the flat part of the dimensional up here so that I get the maximum um, so that the you know the points don't stick out and then it holds the little thing that we made down well and I'm going to put that right there centering it now I'm going to take my uh, circle here that we cut that I had cut out with the vellum now this looks great okay now I want to show you this this looks great and when I was designing I was like okay so a tree and a tree and a tree and a tree okay that looks nice but there was something about it that it just kind of it needed something else okay this just kind of melts I think into the DSP so when that happens you can always add some vellum here is a let's just put one I just need one glue dot okay just one glue dot in the middle of this right here okay and now let's go ahead and we're going to place the large tree first and um, I think with this I'm going to just use glue dots right here you can use um, liquid glue or seal see we're going on vellum okay so I like the glue dots I'm going to put this in the center of my vellum circle right there Okay, just like that or you could pop it up with dimensionals I wanted this flat though I have the base of the card popped up now I'm gonna put the little one right here and again I'll just use a couple of dimensionals uh, not dimensionals um, glue dots just on that and I'm going to put this down to the right and offset it okay just like that the two trees how pretty all right, now I will use my um, liquid glue. Or you can take your seal and your silicone mat and put it on there. But I think I'm going to do just fine with this here on the side because I'm going to pick up the vellum and the DSP. So just a little bit. Ooh, get off of there. I just kind of take my tip too and I spread it. I get like one little dot and then I take my tip and spread it. Okay, that's perfect. All right, now this one's going to come and offset from this tree. Okay, you don't want anything to line up with this um, card. Okay, so I've got it down. I'm taking a block and I'm putting it on top. Let that sit. Okay, let's go ahead and put some adhesive here. You know, or you could have run the whole thing through um, adhesive sheet. That would have done well with this too. I just now thought about that. That was a complete afterthought, right? Okay, now this one here, and again, you want to offset it. I also want to show you that I'm picking up Okay, I'm picking up the gold on the outside, the DSP, the gold, the um, and the vellum in both of these outline trees. But remember, we only use two dies. Isn't that wonderful? I'm over my time limit. I try to stay within 15 to 20 minutes. I'm at 23 minutes. But look how cute. Well, we had to do some embossing, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and add some, <laughs> some um, red rhinestones. It needs just a little bit of color to define it. And watch when I put this red on here. Um, you always need a pack of these for the holidays, the red rhinestones. And then right here. And I've got two that just wanted to come with me, don't I? Don't I? So I have glue on my fingers. Okay. And now, here is our card for today. I appreciate everyone being on here and watching my videos. Give it a thumbs up or um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I appreciate that. Remember, drop that box down where it says more. And there is a whole list of everything that I do and the classes on there. This wonderful, absolutely wonderful cottage wreath beautiful cottage wreath class with the um, craft note cards and envelopes and you can register today. Thank you everyone uh, for watching and I hope if you have this set you will case this card. Happy crafting!